Good morning, Black family. Sadat here. Hey, this uh, news clip just came in about that uh, that brother out in Pontiac that catches those pedophiles online. He poses as a a young girl online and lures those uh, pedophiles out to uh, Pontiac. Well, he no longer is with us anymore, y'all. Check this out. A Pontiac man known to pose as a teen girl online to catch predators was shot and killed last night in that same city. Police say Robert Lee was inside a restaurant when he accused another man of being a pedophile. Lee was shot multiple times and later died at the hospital. Our Jacqueline Francis has been following this story for us tonight. And Jacqueline, a vigil was held tonight. Yeah, Robert Lee had a reputation for tracking down these alleged predators. And tonight, friends and family gathered to remember him. Robert Lee was known for exposing those who troll teens online, using social media to pose as an underage girl luring in predators. I caught 35, he'd be number 35 that I caught. This is from an interview we did with Lee last year, after he outed a sheriff's deputy for allegedly trying to solicit sex from a minor. That deputy was fired as a result. He kept going from there until last night when a confrontation cost him his life. Police say he confronted two men inside of Coney Island in Pontiac. Lee accused one of them of being a pedophile and punched him. In return, one of the men pulled out a knife, the other a gun, and shot Lee to death. At a vigil outside the restaurant, friends and family mourned his death. We're going to honor his memory. Um, we're here to show support and show that you know, everything he did was not for nothing. We're here to show that he really made an impact on the community. From the get, police have called Lee's work well-intentioned, but dangerous. We know he has good intentions from this, um, and we've actually suggested to this individual multiple times, this is really dangerous. And here's some of the problems and pitfalls with doing this. And um, tragically, it played out that way. Two men were arrested today in connection to the killing. Police say the suspected shooter is 17 years old and the other man is 18. Reporting live tonight, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Okay, thank you, Jacqueline. It's a damn shame. They just can't, can't say any good words for a brother. That's why I would never work for or with law enforcement. Fuck them. Rest in peace, bro.